Hi you guys, welcome back to our beautiful classroom library and welcome back to another day off talking about the wonderful world of books. Now before we start talking about that, I'm just going to throw this out there because in the spring and in the summer I had people ask the same question, didn't you wear that yesterday? So the answer is no, I'm not wearing the same outfit. I am just making all the videos for the week in one day to make it easier for me so I could dedicate more time to you instead of making videos every single day. So no, I'm not wearing the same outfit. I'm just making all the videos in one day. So that's why I still have this outfit on. Okay, just had to throw that out there before we get started. Okay, yesterday I took you on a tour of this beautiful classroom library that hopefully you will get the chance to experience soon. And then we talked about the do's and don'ts of how to treat a book. And remember, I gave you this phrase, treat a book like you would treat your friend, okay? So before you treat a book a certain way, think, would I treat my friend that way? Would I treat a person that way? Okay, now we are gonna actually talk about um, the book basics. So physically looking at a book. I wonder if you knew that there's different parts to a book. Of course, we know that there's pages, there's words, there's pictures, okay? That's not what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about the pages, the words, and the pictures. I'm talking about physically the book itself, okay? So it's important that you know the features of a book because what if I, re oh, excuse me, what if I refer to a certain part of the book and you're gonna be like, what is she talking about? I thought a book was just pages, words, and pictures, okay? It's more than that. So every book is going to have this. It might be at the top of a book, it might be on the side of a book, it might be in the middle, it might even be down below. But mostly, and I'm just looking at my classroom library, most of these are found at the top. And it's usually in a bigger text, that means the words are bigger physically, and maybe it's in a different color, maybe it's bold, that means it's dark, but they want this part of the book to really stand out. And you might especially know that when you go to the store and you're looking at books, that's gonna be the first thing that catches your eye, the words usually at the top of the book. And that is called the title, okay? The title, I'm gonna use these fun sticky notes. Oh, the title is the name of the book, okay? Just like the title of a movie, it's the name of the movie. Okay, we all have names, but I also have a title. I'm a teacher. I also have a name. My name is Mrs. Wagner. Okay, so books have titles. It's the name of the book. Okay, I bet you already knew that one because you guys are pretty smart. Okay, let's talk about another feature of the book. Let's talk about this whole thing that I'm outlining with my hand. Just this. What is this called? I'm not talking about this part. I'm talking about the front part. I gave you a little clue there. What is this front part called? It starts with front. Think of when you're in bed and you're pulling a blanket up. What's another word for a blanket? So this whole part of the book is called the front cover okay it's the cover of the book some books are hard cover that means it sounds like that it's hard while others are soft covered like this and you could tell the difference already you see how this book is a little bit floppy and if i knock on it like i just knocked on that book oh look it's kind of floppy it's not making that nice noise okay so the front cover it could be soft, we call it a soft cover book. Or like the example I'm using, a nice sturdy hard cover book, okay? Hard cover book, soft cover book, it doesn't make a difference, it's still gonna have the same great story. To be honest, um, hard cover books are really good for kids to keep them in better condition, but they are a little bit more expensive than a soft cover book, okay? Like I said, either way, it's still gonna have that same great story. Okay, so we have the title, that's the name of the book. We have the front cover, that's going to have the title and all the other information, as well as a nice picture, a nice visual to catch your eye. If you saw this book at the store, 
of course the things that's going to draw you to go and touch it and pick it up and look at it is the front cover is it engaging do i like what i see if i like what i see i'm going to pick it up and say hmm let's check out this book because i'm looking at the front cover and you can see this front cover it's all about going back to school i see a nice school building a school bus and a bunch of houses and parents dropping their kids off at school so when i saw this book i'm like oh i definitely want to check this out because i love school okay so usually the front cover is what grabs our attention like when i saw this one at the store it looks so cute a story about an egg and glasses so of course i picked it up looked through it read a couple pages and i'm like of course i want this book okay so we have the title the front cover let's do the opposite let's flip the book around if this is the front cover what do you think this is so here's my front what is this of course this is the back cover it's the back of the book and the cover's job is to hold the story okay whether it's a hard cover or a soft cover look see how it's on the outside my story's on the inside the cover's job is to protect the story and keep it safe from any damage okay so we have the title the name of the book the front cover the back cover that means there's two more things on this book that we have not identified yet if i look down at the very bottom i see some names here and i see a name here as well and if i read it this one says pictures by christian robinson and this one says story by adam rex wait a minute two different people did this adam rex wrote the story and christian robinson drew the pictures two different people did that that means there was two different jobs so the person who wrote this story is going to be the author the author is the person that's going to write this story that means the person that drew or painted all these beautiful pictures is going to be the illustrator now sometimes stories have the exact same author and illustrator and sometimes the author and the illustrator are two different people working together to make a great story okay so let's review before you do your independent activity where you do have to identify the parts of a book okay so we have the title is the name of the book usually it's in bigger text that means bigger words maybe a different color maybe bold so it can stand out but it's usually at the top of a book especially our fiction books we have the front cover that's this whole beautiful thing the opposite on the back is the back cover um we have the author the person who writes the book and the illustrator the person who draws the picture and actually as i was looking at the book i totally forgot one important piece of the book and this is a piece that we also have on our body okay so i'm talking about if i turn the book sideways this very very skinny piece down the middle that holds my front cover and my back cover together so this slim thing a lot of times especially like in libraries or when you're older and you could even look in this tall shelf you see how my books are standing up i could still see the title on the side and i can see the author and the illustrator and this slim little part the side the middle of the book is called its spine okay now just like we have a back here's our back if you feel in your back that long set of bones that goes from the top of your neck all the way down to your booty that is called your spine the spine's job is to support your body okay if i didn't have a spine i'd be all mush i wouldn't be able to sit up i wouldn't be able to stand up i wouldn't be able to run and jump the spine is what's supporting my whole body just like the spine of a book it's going to support the whole book if this book did not have a spine the front and the back cover wouldn't be able to hold the actual inside story okay so title front cover back cover spine author and illustrator okay it's very important that you know these basics of books before you even read a book because what if i ask you when we're reading a story 
Hmm, where can you find the author? Can you point to the back cover? Okay, it's very important that you know the basic parts of a book, okay? So take this information if you need to watch the video again before you do your activity, that is fine. And please go ahead and take this time now to identify your parts of the book on your independent activity in your packet. Um, I will tell you this activity you might need a little bit of help with because it asks you to color code. So color code the spine this color. Color code the front cover, maybe green, okay? Because it wants to see if you can identify the parts of the book that you just learned about. Okay, good luck, guys. You got this.